Hi there. Welcome to Samaraland. Okay, this is my first video blog and uh, it's kind of crazy that it's going to be about what I'm about to tell you uh, because like no other video blog that I could ever do again is going to compare to this story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Okay, so serendipitously, two nights ago, I got to go to the SNL 40th anniversary after party. So my boyfriend got hired to be the technical director <clears throat> for the after party. So he was in charge and like with of all the um, audio stuff that was there. And he hired me because he could hire who he wanted as his assistant. He's like, well, you know, all you got to do is wear a gown and show up. I'm like, you had me a gown. So, <laughs> so I got dressed up all pretty and uh, we had to get there early while the show was still taping. But um, and we waited around, you know, for a while. Uh, but then finally, at about midnight, people start to show up. Okay, so the first thing I see is George Lucas, like, getting a hamburger. And I'm just like, holy crap, this is, night is just going to be insane. And it just got crazier from there. It was just, you know, oh, there's Steve Martin. Oh, there's Bradley Cooper. And it's, okay, so anyway, our job was to, and his job, was to um, hang out by the stage and people kept coming over and they're just like, because there's a whole band set up on the stage, but no band scheduled to play. So the idea was that hopefully people were going to come up and jam. So everybody keeps coming up and they're just like, so, you know, who's going to be playing here? And we're just like, oh, you know, hopeful. We're hoping that people will just come up and, you know, why don't you go get Paul McCartney and <laughs> tell him to come up? So, and you know, time's going by and like all these people are coming by and talking to us. And then like, you know, there's like Dave Chappelle with MC Hammer and Adam Sandler and <laughs> it's just crazy. And then uh, the DJ's playing music. So MC Hammer's like, you want to dance? I'm like, yes, of course I do. So I'm dancing with MC Hammer and that's like surreal, but whatever. And the whole night is like that. So finally, Dan Aykroyd comes up on stage and he gets on that stage and he's like, Paul McCartney, get up here. And, you know, finally, like the ball starts rolling and Paul McCartney gets up and Dan Aykroyd and Taylor Swift and like all these people. And at that point, the crowd had like come down to the stage. So I kind of backed away a little bit because um, my boyfriend was like helping people up onto the stage. He's playing stage manager. So um, I'm just walking around and drinking champagne and <laughs> like looking at all these people. It's so crazy. So I'm just walking around and, you know, I'm turning this way and like, oh, hi, Elvis Costello. And like, oh, hi, Bill Murray. And, and then I'm walking around the back and I was wearing these insanely high heels, of course. <laughs> They're fabulous. But um, they had this carpet laid down and it was kind of buckling. So, you know, like I almost bit it. And then I look up. And I'm just like, God, you know, as if it wasn't hard enough to walk around in high heels, you know, they have this freaking carpet and it's Beyonce. <laughs> and Beyonce's like, yeah, I know. And meanwhile, like everybody's wearing black tie and like Jay-Z and Beyonce, who's standing right next to her, Jay-Z is standing right next to her. Jay-Z and Beyonce, like Jay-Z's wearing a t-shirt and Beyonce like has a ski cap on and she still is like, you know, looks like she has like special lighting on her. <laughs> like she's so beautiful. So the whole night is like this and you know, Will Fer I mean, you know, just anybody who's anybody was at this party and me. <sighs> Crazy. All right. So now I knew Prince was there and I knew Prince was there because Prince's guys had like come up to us while we were standing in front of the stage and they're like, hey, uh, you know, Prince is here. Where can we put Prince? And we're like, I don't know, you know. <laughs> But he ended up just like standing in the back and, you know, he had like all his people around and whatever. But I like, I saw him, you know, I saw him <laughs> and I knew he was there. So at that point, um, my boyfriend motions, he's like, I need a drink. I'm like, okay, I'm on it. You know, I'm the assistant. I'm here. <laughs> so I go, I get us some champagne and I make my way through the crowd. And at that point, they're like, calling Prince up on stage, like, Prince, come on, come on. And Prince comes through the crowd and gets up on stage with his band and plays Let's Go Crazy. And I lost my mind. <laughs> I mean, I lost my 
my mind. I have been a Prince fan for so long and I just like, I just lost it. And everybody's on the dance floor and like all these people are around and just everybody's like jumping up and down. It's just crazy. And I look behind me and like Joey Fatone's got his hand on my shoulder and I'm just like, yeah, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> it was nuts. It was nuts. It was the best party I've ever been to. It was amazing. And I know this is my first vlog and nothing I'm ever gonna do is gonna live up to this, but it was amazing. That's what happens in Samara land.